I very much disliked going to the zoo when I was a kid, which is funny because I work for one. I grew up in Miami, Florida, and um, we always seemed to go to the zoo in the middle of really hot summers. It was just so hot and so miserable to spend, you know, several hours outdoors in 95 degree weather in sunny South Florida. the same guidelines that is done in restaurants. Digestive physiology is a very broad field from species to species as compared with human nutrition, which I would find very easy. <laughs> no offense to dietitians out there. Well, you have to get creative. It's pretty interesting that insects um, that we cultivate and that we find in the wild, for some reason, are very low in calcium and, and aren't very healthy. This is what these animals eat, so this is what we need to feed them. So we, we uh, devise kind of creative ways to get the nutrients that are missing in the insects into the animals. We put the insects in a bag and it's like a shake and bake process where we, we put calcium powder in there and so then the calcium sticks to the insects and so when the amphibian eats the insect they're getting the calcium with the insect. We also feed the insects a high calcium diet so what's in the insect's guts is a lot of calcium so when the amphibian eats the insect they are also getting the calcium. Picky animals are challenging. They're just like children. Penguins are notoriously picky. You know, oh, that fish is too big, I'm not gonna eat that. Oh, I don't like how it looks, I'm not gonna eat that. But for example, our red panda came here picky, only eating red things. So he liked his red grapes and his plums. You gotta try it at least five times and then tell me you don't like it. So I'd start lacing other food items into his diet to make him try papaya and mango and things that aren't red. And now, now he eats pretty consistently whatever I offer to him. Do I have my own diet sheet? Um, I pay very close attention to what I eat as well because I know the effects that a bad diet or a good diet can have on any organism, including humans. Thank you.